Hi, my name is Nick Smith of EAM Consulting Limited, and I want to talk to you today about using an evaluation methodology as an analysis tool when planning a training and development initiative. Now, if we're going to make sure that the return on investment from our training and development initiative is at the best it can be, the first thing we've got to determine is what are the business's ambitions that we're trying to address. So what is it that the business wants as a result from this training? Is it new services being delivered? Is it an increase in profitability, a reduction in waste? What is it exactly that has to change? And we need to know where we are now and what the change needs to be in terms of percentage or numbers or, or whatever it might be. The next thing we need to do, continuing our business analysis, is to look at what the people involved have to do new, differently or better in order that we can deliver on those business results. So again, we need to know what people are actually doing at the moment, what it is we want them to do to deliver our results and what that change in behaviour, application, implementation needs to be. At this point, we can then move to a training needs analysis because the next question to ask ourselves is, are the people themselves actually able to do these new, different, better procedures? If not, what enhanced capability do they need such that they can? So then we need to look at what training, if any, needs to be given to achieve that. Look at what they know now and can do now and what they need to be able to do. And the final thing we need to look at is how are we going to deliver this enhancement and capability in a way that will ensure that the people think that it is relevant to them in their role, that it is important that they apply it, and indeed that they do intend to apply it. So when we've worked that out and we know where people are and we've defined our objectives with clear measures, that will give us a set of milestones so that as our initiative is rolling out, we will be able to see if we are getting the results that we thought we should be getting. And importantly then, if we're not getting the results as we thought we would get them, then we can look at why not and adjust the programme accordingly such that we guarantee or give a much better guarantee of achieving our return on investment. 